This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. In the first line of our input, we are given a coordinate. So in this case, the given coordinate is 1 1. And it is always given in the question that the first coordinate will always be present in either bottom left or bottom right. And then we are given another coordinate in the next line. And it is also given in the question that this coordinate will be opposite to the first coordinate. That is, if the first coordinate is present in bottom left, then this coordinate will be in top right. If the first coordinate is in bottom right, then this will be in top left. So like this, these coordinates will always be present in opposite direction. So using these points, we have to find the remaining coordinates of the rectangle and we have to find the area of the rectangle. So before finding the area of the rectangle, first let us see how these points are actually present in the Cartesian plane. So here I have taken the Cartesian plane and here I have marked the points also. So I have marked 1, 1 and 4, 3 and this is the point which you are going to find out now. So in order to find this point, that row will be 1 because from 1, 1 we can derive the row. Similarly, the column can be derived from the point 4, 3. So the column of this particular index is 3. So this is the new point. So we have found the third point. So now using this point, we can calculate the area of the rectangle because when we find the distance between 1, 1 and 1, 3, that will be the length of the rectangle. And when we find the distance between 4, 3 and 1, 3, it will be the breadth of the rectangle. So using these two values, we can calculate the area of the rectangle. So to calculate the distance between two points, we have a formula. So first let us take down this new point, 1, 3. So the point which we have found is 1, 3. So first I will write it down and then we will calculate the distance. So first we will calculate the distance between 1, 3 and 1, 1. So the formula to find the distance between two points is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So here we know all the values. So the x2 and x1 is 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. And next y2 minus y1. So here 3 and 1 are the y coordinates. So 3 minus 1 will be 2 and 2 square will be 4. So now we have to put these values in the square root. So the x2 minus x1 was 0. So 0 plus 4. Because y2 minus y1 is 2 square. So 2 square is 4. And now we have to find the square root of 4. So the square root of 4 is 2. So this is the length of the rectangle. Similarly next we have to find the distance between 1, 3 and 4, 3. So the distance between these two points will be the breadth of the rectangle. So again we have to apply the same formula x square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So here the x coordinates are 1 and 4. So the difference is 3 and 3 square is equal to 9. So first I will write down the 9 and now we have to find the difference of y2 minus y1. So y1 and y2 both are 3 so 3 minus 3 will be 0. So 0 square is also 0. So now we have to find the square root of 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. So now we have found the both length as well as the breadth of the rectangle. So now in order to find the area, length into breadth is the area. So 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So in our output also, we can see that we are printing the 6, which is the area of the rectangle. So using the given two coordinates, we are finding the third coordinate. And after finding the third coordinate, we are finding the distance between all the given coordinates which is nothing but the length and breadth of the rectangle and once when we find the length and breadth the length into breadth is the area so we should be returning this particular value so now let us see how we will be implementing the code so this is the code which is already given to us so here first we are creating a structure named point which has two variables x and y and then the main function we are creating three variables for the structure named point. So p1, p2 and p3. And in the first line of input, we are accepting the p1.x and p1.y. And in the next line, we are accepting p2.x and p2.y. And then 
we are calculating the area using the function named get rectangle area and in the arguments we are passing both the points p1 and p2 so now our task is to implement this function named get rectangle area which executes the logic as we discussed so we have to find the third point and we have to calculate the length and breadth separately and we have to return the area of the rectangle so now let us see how we will be implementing this function named get rectangle area so here i have defined the function named get rectangle area and this function is of return type int and it accepts two structure so point 1 and point 2 in the arguments as a pointer so using the arrow operator we can access the x and y variables of the structure point so first we have to find the third coordinate so the third coordinate will be formed using the row of the first coordinate and the column of the second coordinate so the point 1 arrow x is the row of the first coordinate so i'm storing it in an integer variable named bottom x so i'm setting int bottom x is equal to point 1 arrow x so now we have determined the row of the third coordinate similarly the column of the point 2 will be the column of the third coordinate so i'm storing the point 2 arrow y into the bottom y coordinate so this is how we will be calculating the third coordinate so the third coordinate is nothing but it is made up of the row of the first point and the column of the second point so that will be the third coordinate and now using this third coordinate we have to find the distance between point 1 and point 2 so i am creating an integer variable named length in which i am going to calculate the distance between point 1 and the third coordinate so the point 1 are point 1 arrow x and point 1 arrow y and the third coordinate is bottom x and bottom y so in the arguments i am passing all these values and here I have defined the function named distance which will calculate the distance between two points. So I am accepting the x1, y1, x2 and y2 in the arguments of the distance function. And in the return statement we are applying the formula. So first we are calculating the x2 minus x1 the whole square and y2 minus y1 the whole square. And we are adding both of the values and we will return the square root of the particular value. So that will be the distance between both the points. So this is how we will be calculating the length. Similarly next we have to calculate the breadth. So the breadth will be nothing but the distance between point 2 and the third coordinate. So again we have to call the same function distance and in the arguments we have to pass point 2 arrow x, point 2 arrow y and bottom x, bottom y. So that we will be getting the distance between the point 2 and the third coordinate which will be the breadth of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is nothing but length into breadth so finally this function should return the length into breadth which will be the area of the rectangle so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching